Okay, here's a video of like the arm position and also hand position for running action. Um, so I'm, I'm going to, it's easier to sort of see this in slow motion and, and if we take away the legs, so the running out of it, to get the idea of what it, what it should look like. So uh, let's have a look at Nathan doing it. And basically what he needs to do, if I just play it a bit more, that arm action there, he what we're looking for is like a 90 degree angle like that and he you know in keeping it this so he's basically and I, I sort of use the cue of the um almost trying to put his hands in his pocket because some people run with their hands too high up creates like problems through the chest and the shoulder and you get like and get like stitches from running like that you're running like like you've got a coat hanger in your t-shirt um, a lot of people don't use their arms enough and they swing them across themselves in front that creates sloppy running you want to have it like very much side by side with that 90 degree angle all right um, a lot of people don't use their arms anywhere near enough or or properly for that matter um, so let's have a look at um, we'll keep playing it and we'll see how it goes and, and with the hand if you look at his hands carefully there see how he's got an open hand here this open hand means the wrist often slaps around and then it drags his arm across in front of and you'll see that arm flapping around you would have all seen that runner it, it just it just creates like wind resistance but it's very ineffective it just sort of disrupts the entire body's um, uh, running pattern all right so if we uh, in a second I'll, I'll point that out to him and I'll show him what he's doing all right so you'll see here now we'll bring his and we'll look at his hands a bit more closely there you go so what he needs to do see how I've, I've told him all right I want you to um, put your thumb on your forefinger and create like a almost like a fist but it's not a clenched fist if you clench the fist then you create extra energy that you don't need you want to save energy as much as you can but it, but by not having an open hand it means he can't flap it around a bit like a sail or a parachute um, so he's a bit more streamlined but he's not absorbing in, um, too much energy by clenching a fist all right so so you see that thumb sitting on the forefinger there all right that's that's the uh, how they teach a lot of track runners to run all right so then then we get him to sort of do it again and you know, all right so now he's got his hand in the right position and then he just rips it through um, back and forth as we did before and uh, and that's how you get the uh, you get your arm action right and once you've got it right then you can implement it into the running action all right so I hope you enjoy that so this is actually uh, a drill that I use and I'll use it a lot with kids because it's um, easiest way to sort of explain something complicated and make it funny uh, so they enjoy it um, but they also understand how it feels like you feel it that's probably the better way of explaining why I teach people this and it, as much as it works with kids it works even better with adults for the same reason because you actually feel the difference when you feel it you understand the importance of using it right most people don't realize just how poorly they're using their arms when they run so to, to exaggerate it what I do is I get people to run firstly with with their arms folded across their chest so they physically cannot use their arms and they feel what it, how awkward it feels to run like that All right so I'll play this I'll play this video in slow-mo for you on the um, on the right side so you watch um, Nathan running with his arms across his chest and he's sort of look at the kids he's laughing as he's doing it but you can see how when he runs he's just so awkward he can't really rotate he can't use his because he can't use his other arm to pull his leg through all right so he's really running very stiff he's not athletic at all he can't get any leg drive because he needs his opposite arm to work in tandem with the leg um, without it he just is real loss of energy all right so if we look at him run um, correctly where he's using his arm action to really flick back with that elbow um, he sort of watch his left hand flies across him a bit too much but i'm oh, not too bad there all right so then you see how he can get a lot more leg drive because his arms flying right through all right so that, that's a big thing that you this is an easy way to really learn how to use your arm action um, and develop that that pattern better all right so there's two other things that i would use and um, you can check those out in in, a, in our other videos coming up I'm looking at um, the body position of it being in a slightly forward lean 
Um, you don't want to be excessive forward lean and get, create breathing problems, neck problems and, and stuff from that. Um, poor posture and you'll get all types of injuries. But you do need a forward lean of a small degree. All right, um, And you need to lead not with your head, but more with your rib cage, the, the, your, your sternum as such. Um, um, again, the best way to to understand this is to feel it again. So this is one of my drills that I use with kids a lot to teach them the the um, value of leaning forward and how it creates it, how it makes you run faster, but you don't actually need any energy to create your momentum. You're just using gravity, more or less. So a lot of people you'll see, especially if you have a sore back from running, a lot of people are too straight. Um, uh, you know, they're just too upright. They're almost like leaning back, which is putting the brakes on. Right, so to, to get the feel of this, again, the best way to do it is to exaggerate it. So I've got Nathan running with an excessive lean. He's, I've, I've, I've told him, I want you to lean back as far as you can and run as fast as you can. All right, and impossible to run fast while you're leaning backwards. All right, so let's have a look at him doing it. It looks really stupid. Um, you'll see there's a huge heel strike because there's too much of him backward. But you'll see when he comes past here, he's almost like, like very straight. All right, and you see a lot of people are, are, are in a running position. They're almost um, dead vertical. See that? We're, we're really, he needs to be more here because he's going this way, not that way. All right, so he wants to have some forward momentum created from just being in the right position. It sounds like, oh, yeah, I should be doing that, but you'd be blown away by how many people we find just cannot lean forward when they're running, they just don't even understand, they don't know they're actually standing so upright. Um, so if we have a look at the uh, the good one, and you'll see how he's got this forward momentum and it looks so much easier to run because it is. And you'll see his foot strike is nowhere near as ne uh, as in front of him as he was on the other one. All right, so there's his, see how he's, his position here, if I just bring him more forward, see he's ready to, go straight into that next stance with he, he's moving forward you know he's he's heading this way <laughs> this one though he's heading that way now I know I, I said to him excessively but uh, I could show videos of people their normal style and that's what it looks like all right um, this one this one athletic this uh, this one's athletic this one's not this one's terrible all right so uh, so if he gets his arm action right he leans forward a little bit and then he needs to get his foot strike right, then it all comes together. All right, so um, I'll see you on our next video where we talk about the heel strike. This one is the third part in our series of like teaching simple drills and of uh, how to uh, understand the running technique. So firstly, we looked at the arm action. Secondly, we looked at leaning forward and, and not standing too upright. This time we're looking at the, the foot placement. And this is... Um, it's very much more for sprinting, but very much distance running as well. Um, uh, and a lot of people don't understand why they shouldn't run heel first, or because you should walk heel first, but but running definitely not. Um, so to, f to get the feeling of why not, I, again I exaggerate it and I get people to show me, okay, run as fast as you can when you can't let, and don't let your toes touch the ground at all. You can only run on your heels. You can run as fast as you like, but no toes on the ground. So this is Nathan trying to do that. And like it just looks awkward and you'll probably look up and have a bit of a laugh himself <laughs> um, so look it's just crazy you just can't do it all right so it's just mental but if I say the exact opposite run on only your toes but don't use your heels have a look at the difference all right so he's not allowed to let his heels touch the ground he's just so he's very much like a sprinter um, and you'll see look at how much height he gets off the ground and bang your leg's got to swing right through. You can't get it in front of him because his heel will hit the ground. So he has to swing it under. See that? Um, now, as a sprinter, obviously, we just do that anyway. But a lot of people run for fun or run for weight loss and run really pathetically slow and develop terrible technique and eventually soft tissue problems and joint problems where they would be so much better off running on an athletics track and running more like a sprinter, run 100 metres and you'd run more properly, you know, run barefoot. Um, and you'll get the idea of running technique. You build up a better base and you've got good form. You can be more efficient and you can last longer. Um, you know, and that's really what running and cycling, all those things are about, is be becoming efficient. Running technique is just so important. So whether you want to win something or be super fit, 
or you don't want to be we don't want to be injured it's this you really need running technique now um, to think that the professionals don't do this the professionals do this all the time all right they they understand the value of it and they they do it almost every session you can ask them they'll tell you because they know it's just so important yet the amateur and the novice runners completely ignore it and neglect it um, very ignorant to the rules of technique with this all right so I hope you understand um, and got some, something out of this and the, um, there's one more drill that I'll show you that's very easy to, to implement um, and you can use this to help you um, but again it takes a lot of time to, to change a running technique but just subtle changes make a big difference all right so I hope you enjoy that and I'll see you on the next video okay here's a really simple uh, running technique drill to learn foot placement um, so so easy to do all you need is wall um, and you want to be in a forward lean as you can see Nathan is here so he, he wants to be have his running position so he's because he wants to be heading this way think of this like running on the spot as such all right so really he's just learning how to get the circular action of the legs to create um, friction on the ground to drive his leg backwards so let, let's have a look how he does it all right so basically he's sort of like practicing his lean here um, right now he's got his one hand against the wall he's up on his toes and we'll get him to go forward into this all right so now he's all right so now he's on his toes and we get him to drive his leg back yep there you go now if I just clear this and you'll see what he wants to do is the knee drives up and from here this is where the foot placement comes in he wants the foot to drop and where he dropped it there was too far in front of him it's got to be right by the other foot so see if he gets better as he goes there he goes now he's learning see how that foot lands right next to the other foot if it even just lands a little bit further in front of him even if it's just there that's too far he's most likely going to have a braking action which is then going to make him stand upright instead of leaning forward he wants to have something that, that doesn't stop him from falling forward that's why I got him at the start to fall forward because I wanted him to feel that I don't want the foot to come out and break and break him at any point all right so as he's moving his leg up it basically swings up there's like think of this like the exhaust all right like on a car and it's shooting out all right there's the the turbo because that's going to shoot him forward all right so the accelerators are created from the glutes um, as the leg comes up and around so then the hamstring pulls that heel closer to the butt as it does that he's got to lift his knee up that's where the high knee action comes in all right and that's where his hip flexors and quads will drive up when he hits the ground that's where his glutes have got to stabilize him and and the hamstrings are, so he's landed too far forward again um, the hamstrings create the friction to drive you back and with the hip extension of the glutes see that that there is the hamstring and the posterior muscles working together on the other leg the stance leg the glute which you can't see on the other side is having to control the alignment so um, so there's his pelvis his knee and his ankle and his foot the glute on this side on his stance leg is trying to control it so his leg doesn't do that which is usually the excessive pronation all right um, but on this leg this this driving leg it's got a really create friction on the ground to swing out forward come right through and so you end up creating like a circular action like that so that's very much like rolling a ball down a down a hill all right and that's what you're trying to do so the ball if the ball's square <laughs> it, it won't roll it's going to be awkward it's going to have a lot of breaking in it it's going to be painful all right so you want to create the circle all right so circle around and the only way to do that is get that foot in that right position all the time and get that work, leg working in a nice circular action as you can see here all right so that's a simple exercise you can use to learn the technique and then you try and use it as a drill for 30 seconds each leg go out and practice running for 100 meters come back to it again do it several times and eventually it'll get easier um, and you'll understand how to do it all right so i hope you enjoyed that video and i'll see you on the next one